International Catechetical Month. Ang buwan ng Setyembre ay inilaan ng ating inang simbahan upang kilalanin ang kahalagahan ng katisismo sa ating buhay pananampalataya. Kaugnay ito sa pagdiriwang ng kapistahan ni San Lorenzo Ruiz, katikista at unang Pilipinong martir at santo. Ang tema ngayong taon ay The Catechist, Walking Together as Witnesses of the New Life in Christ. Bilang pakikibahagi sa mabiyayang pagdiriwang na ito, ang Redemptorist Commission on Catechesis at Redemptorist Children's Committee ay nag-aanyaya sa mga bata na makibahagi sa lingguhang katisismo na gagawin online at face-to-face sa ganap na alauna ng hapon at susunda ng pagdiriwang ng banal na misa kasama ng mga bata sa ganap na alas dos imedya ng hapon. Para sa karagdagang impormasyon, makipag-ugnayan lamang sa front office ng Dambana o kaya na may bisitahin ang Facebook page ng RCCOM. Sa diwa ng bagong buhay kay Kristo, sama-sama tayong maglakbay upang mapalalim ang ating pag-unawa sa regalo ng pananampalatayang Kristiyano at simulan natin sa pag-akay sa mga batang silang kinabukasan ng ating simbahan. Season of Creation Prayer Creator of all, through the communion of your love and word, and by your holy wisdom, you have created a diverse earth meant to sing a symphony of praises. You have called human beings to be stewards of your good creation. You designed us to listen and learn how to care for our common home. But we have turned towards ourselves and away from our co-creatures. We close our ears to the counsel of our fellow. We fail to listen to the cries and needs of the poor and vulnerable. We silence those who keep us rooted to traditions. 
we close our hearts to your sustaining word, the scriptures. We lament the loss of those who will never speak again. We grieve lost human creatures, lives, and livelihood. Creation cries out because of our unwillingness to listen. In this season of creation, may you call us as you called Moses from the burning bush. Sustain us in faith with the fire of your spirit. Open our ears to listen to the voices of each creation declaring your glory. Grant us hearts that trust in your presence and promise. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, who proclaimed the good news to all creation. Amen. Magandang umaga po, mga kapatid. Bilang pag-iingat sa COVID-19, ipinapaabot ng pambansang dambana ang mga sumusunod na patnubay. Palagi pong suotin ang face mask. Panatilihin po ang physical distancing. Maraming salamat po sa inyong kooperasyon. Panyaya, malugod po namin kayong inaanyayahan na makibahagi sa takbo alay kay Inay Maria sa ikalabing isa ng Disyembre, linggo, sa ganap na ikaapat at kalahati ng umaga. Ito po ay isang fun run na ang layunin ay para sa Box for the Poor at Repair and Maintenance of the Baclaran Church. Sa mga nagnanais pong magparegister, maaari po kayong pumunta sa registration booth na matatagpuan sa labas ng simbahan. Maraming salamat po. Patalastas, inaanyayahan ang mga kabataang lalaki na nasa grade 10 to 12 sa isang vocation discernment retreat sa darating na ikalabing anim hanggang ikalabing walo ng Setyembre, taong kasalukuyan. Ang layunin ng nasabing gawain ay upang matulungang mapagnilayan ang kanilang bukasyon. Para sa karagdagang impormasyon, Makipag-ugnayan po lamang sa mga sumusunod na numero na makikita sa inyong monitor screen o mag-message lamang sa aming Facebook pages at Redemptorist VP Vocations or at Redemptorist Vocation Das Baklaran. Maraming maraming salamat po. Please all stand for the opening hymn, Immaculate Mother.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Together, merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters who have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us, repenting sincerely of our sins. We ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Please all be seated. Last week, our mother of perpetual help received the letters of petitions and thanksgiving. Among the petitions, 1,086. For letters of thanksgiving, 1,476. 36 for spiritual favors. 4 for peace in the home. 1 for reconciliation. 2 for partner in life. 47 for health and recovery from sickness. 15 from delivered from all dangers. 3 from gift of a child and safe delivery. 3 for financial needs. 6 for education and success in studies. 4 for board exam. 2 for travel abroad. 3 for local employment. 6 for overseas employment. 1 for legal favors. 6 for temporal favors and 1,330 specified and all the blessings. And here's a letter from one of our devotee, Thanksgiving letter. Dear Mother of Perpetual Health, Pumunta po uli kami ng aking mapapangasawa sa inyong dambana para magpasalamat. Kami pong dalawa ay itinakdang ikakasal sa ika-22 na Oktobre ngayong taon at hihingi na din ng inyong panalangin sa ating Diyos na kami ay gabayan sa aming buhay mag-asawa. Kami po ay nagsimulang manampalataya, simula pa nang kami ay humihiling pa lang na kami ay pumasa sa aming board exams. Siya po ay naging pharmacist na at ako ay naging criminologist. Hanggang sa paghiling ng matanggap sa trabaho, kami ay inyong dininig. Maraming salamat po. Siya ay nakuha sa si isang magandang kumpanya at ako ay naging pulis na. Ngayon po, kaming dalawa ay maayos na din ang kalagayan, maging ang aming relasyon at kalusugan. Ito po ang aming taus-pusong pasasalamat at dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus at sa inyong mahal naming ina ng lagang saklolo. Nagpapasalamat ng lubos at ang sulat ay nilagdaan. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
there is one way to identify if someone you meet is a Christian or not. It is the cross. Just look for a cross and surely you'll know they are a Christian, at least by affiliation, if not by actual living out of his faith. Imagine these different circumstances. One may be wearing a necklace with a cross as a pendant. Another is keeping a rosary in his or her pockets or bag. And maybe one has a cross tattoo on his or her chest or arm. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate a special event that is very much the symbol of our faith, the exaltation of the Holy Cross or the triumph of the cross. We celebrate this important feast for two reasons. First, to recall a historical event that is important in the life of the Christian church. And second, to emphasize the significance of the symbol and truth of the cross in our daily life as Christians. It was said that today, in the year 326, the relic of the cross Jesus was crucified on were found by Saint Helen, the mother of the Roman Emperor Constantine. According to Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Helen longed to see the cross of Christ, and because of this, he tr she, she traveled to Jerusalem where she organized an excavation at the hill of Calvary. There is a fascinating story on the finding of this cross. The excavators uncovered three wooden cross and they could not identify which one was the cross of Jesus. To find the cross of Jesus, they brought a sick woman. The three crosses were placed one after the other on the sick woman. Two of the crosses had no effect. But when the third cross touched the sick woman, she was healed of her infirmity. My dear brothers and sisters, today the sign of the cross has become a universal Christian symbol. It is not just a piece of wood, but rather a symbolic summary of the passion, death, and resurrection of Christ. Its significance marks our everyday life as Christians. This symbol reminds us of God's overflowing love for us and the infinite sacrifice our Lord Jesus Christ made for our salvation. How touching it is when we hear in the gospel that God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. Each time we see the cross or when we make the sign of the cross, we are reminded to look deep into ourselves and our humanity and see how blessed we are having been able to receive the salvific effects of Jesus raised high on the cross with all his agony and pain. My dear friends, the triumph of the cross did not end in Jesus' death. It was more emphasized on his glorious resurrection up to our very own time today. The life of Christ does not end with the event of Jesus' passion and death and resurrection. It continues to resonate in our lives as Christians, as followers of Jesus Christ today. What is triumphant about this day, and we should always bear this in mind, is that Jesus took all the sins of the human race upon himself and offered himself as a priceless sacrifice to restore our relationship with our Father. How do we live our lives then 
in the light of the new life that Jesus gave us. The cross always invites us to follow Christ, take up our own crosses, and become obedient to the will of the Father. In our daily undertakings in life, let us act with God's love in our hearts by becoming more loving and life-giving to others. This is what the cross is all about. It is good to ask ourselves now, are we willing to give a piece of ourselves so that others may have a life too? The cross is an invitation to love and to love more as God loves us. My dear brothers and sisters, let us honor the work of Christ that was manifested through the Holy Cross, the true symbol of love, compassion, and forgiveness. And we can only do this by imitating Him who has died in order for us to live. This is our hope, so may it be. Amen. Please all stand and let us sing Mary Immaculate, Star of the Morning. Vina prayer. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for a mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our causes and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that He answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. 
strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that anyone who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget, forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena. We earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loved his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers, to your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace like our own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire human family. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Health. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceive without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Health, pray for us. We sinners call to you, loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for all people. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may see Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may all respond to the challenges of the affliction brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic with courage, hope, and support for one another. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may strive to be true Christian by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. 
that we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care for and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may defend human dignity and the sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may promote the equality of men and women. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the means of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Together, Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Amen. Please I'll stand for Mother of Christ.
thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love, to save us in all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession, and especially to the Novena, inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in His love. To the most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor and glory and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Briefly pause to remember the sick people to pray for. Together, Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayers for the sick. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. Lord God, by the Paschal mystery of the death and resurrection of your only Son, you accomplish the work of our redemption. Full of trust, we proclaim that Paschal mystery in the sacramental signs of the Eucharist. Help us to see ever growing in us the fruits of your saving work through Christ our Lord.
the divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ to God and to men, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy, Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.